What's up, what's up? It's your boy Sneaky Q. We back again. Mop Magazine, all the spotlight. Got the home in the building, what's Cincinnati, up? Ohio. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. John Scholar, what's up, bro? What's going on? What's going on? Man, boy, you killed the stage last night, man. Appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Killed the stage, man. 1990. 1990X, man. 1990X, man. That's it. That's I said it. 1990 because it's really 1990, <laughs> but the X is a zero. So, you know what I'm saying? You know why I said that. So, you know what I'm saying? But 1990X. Yeah. Dope. Listen to it. <laughs> I can't stop listening to it, man. Like, you know, like, I, look, I'm going to just tell you straight up, man, like, that's some of the best music I've heard in a while. You know what I'm saying? Wow. R&B wise. Um, you know, and like, I'm always checking for like, the dopest artists, you know, whether it's rap, but you know, so I'm a big fan of R&B. So I kind of check for like, I love people who can sing. Like, that's one of those things where I wish I could like really sing, <laughs> but I'm tone deaf, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I, the way I sound, the way I sound to myself and the way I sound to some other people is probably totally different, man. But <laughs> so let's let's get into that album, man, with the EP, man, five tracks. Yeah, five tracks, man. Uh, I put it out at the end of 2014. Uh, really, what it was was I just me and my production team we just wanted to put together this like a real quick, a real quick EP that really honed in on, like you said, like that R&B sound. Cause I mean, before that, before that, before 1990X, a lot of my projects were kind of pretty eclectic and all over the place. But this one, I really just wanted to hone in on like that specific R&B sound. So we just put it together, and yeah, that's what that's what came out. 1990X is what we what we came up with, and the reason I named it 1990X was basically just as an yeah, ode yeah, to giving giving a giving a, a kind of like a a, re a re reminiscent to. In 1990, because that was the golden era of R&B. Absolutely, everybody's saying, you know. So I, I get it, I dig it, you know, because I, I tell people all the time, man. That's what I wish that R&B can get back to that, you know, <laughs> just because I mean the music is different. So yeah. being that the 1990s, and you know, what I'm saying I'm pretty sure you sampled a few songs from 1990, you know, mm -hmm. on the um, EP. Mm -hmm. What's the difference in your uh, your opinion with the music then in the 90s to music in the 2000s? <laughs> uh a lot of it has to do with money man like a lot of it has to do with uh what's marketable and what's hot like what's catchy you know what i mean whereas in the 90s you know cats like la reed and babyface they were really looking for like real talent you know what i mean like real like soul hidden talent and you know then they made it work then they made money off of it but i feel like now if you got like a catchy hook or a dance or a rapper feature, you know what I mean? Like it's different avenues to 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 push it and to make money off of it. So I, I feel like I don't know. They're they're definitely uh, talented artists. I mean, I agree, definitely. You know what I Vocals mean? Vocals like through the roof. Yeah. But the music just don't sound the same. You yeah, I'm yeah. Like I don't know. I guess the the feeling it ain't, it ain't you know it ain't always there mm -hmm. anymore. But uh, I mean, and and that's not me saying like I'm trying to you know bring R&B back yeah. or anything like that. I'm just trying to do my thing. Just that's like you know just just trying to create your love. create your avenue. Exactly. Exactly. And I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you pretty much an instance. So last night at your performance, you know, at the breast cancer um event, if you seen you you were bouncing around and you just singing. And people was just like, you know, vibing to the music. You know what I'm saying? So then you bring another artist on the stage, you know, R&B artist, right. but they trying to get everybody hyped. They trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? And no offense. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. that's pretty much the new, you know what I'm saying? And compared to what you're trying to do as far as like the old school 90s, you know what I'm saying? R&B. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's like one instance right there that, you know what I'm saying, that people probably wouldn't have picked on, you know what I'm saying, if just wasn't a fan of the of the genre R&B, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, but I, I kind of peeped that, and that's why when I came with you, I was like, yo, man, like, bro, that's dope. What was the name of that song? You know what I'm saying? I immediately was like, what was the name? And you were just like calm and chill up there, you know, it wasn't like, oh, man, you know, rowdy, you were just calm and chill, man. Yeah, hey, you pinpointed everything that I want, everything that I want to give on stage, man. I just want to give, like, I want people to vibe. Ah, I really yeah, do. Yeah, you know what I'm really saying? Do. I and really I think that's it. the difference with today's artists and, well, today's music as so far as R&B is that mm -hmm. everything is still crump, whereas R&B, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's crump, I can listen to right. some, you know, rap, you know what I'm saying? R&B, right. I want it to be, like, you know, nice and mellow where I can just vibe and ride to the music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you got a shorty in the car with you, you know what I'm saying? You can vibe. Like, you don't, you don't want to get that crump. You don't want to get a crump, you know? You want it to be nice and mellow, you know what I'm saying? Set the move. Man, right. I think that's what you did on stage last night. I appreciate it. You know? I appreciate so, what's next, man? You know, obviously, you didn't drop the, you know, the five track EP. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's else on the agenda? 
what's next, man? Just trying to do these shows, man. Just trying to trying to be out here and you know I mean be visible to the people, man. And really, um, some merchandising is is on to come up and uh, just you know stay working, man. Just stay stay in the studio. I want to. Um, I ain't gonna put too much out there, but I wanna I wanna put out like kind of like a deluxe edition of 1990X and okay. add like a couple more tracks. Okay, I I, I mean I think that'd be love. I think that'd be love, man. I really think that'd be love. Because I mean for real, like uh, overrated, especially. Really okay, and I, okay, I'm glad you. I'm glad. Oh man, I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. Now that seems to be the fan favorite. Overrated. It seems to be good line. You know, talking about the independent <laughs> sisters. You know, not one love. Right. I get it. I get right. it because I mean that's what everybody you know dealing with. You right. know what I'm saying? You right. Know, especially out here, everybody, all the women out here, they. No, they want to get it on their own, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they, mm -hmm. they bypassing the love and the companionship, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They can get it from a guy, you know what I'm right. saying? I get that stuff, like Dope Track, right. you know what I'm saying? You know, another one of my favorites. But I think people are not really listening to City Lights <laughs> because, I mean, it's, it's it's really a dope track. If you listen to what you're saying, listen to the things you're saying in the in the track where it's like, okay, I get it, you know what I'm saying? And I think yeah. people are so, they, they jumped on Overrated so quick because it's like a common, you know? But City Lights is just as good, you know? I feel it, man. City Lights is actually one of my favorite joints for sure. Um, and yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, And you're right. You're right. I feel like sometimes City Lights kind of gets overshadowed, it, it, I mean, overrated. But yeah. it's whatever, man. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Because, I mean, it's one of those things where, like, you got to look at it, bro. I, that's like the common thing, you know? And everybody's <laughs> going to jump into it because it's like one of those things where people can just grab it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but, I mean, both tracks, you know, kind of bounce off each other, you know, two different messages, yes. you know, and, and, you know what I'm saying? But, it, it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> really so, it kind, so it kind of like, it, they kind of like balance each other. That's why I say you got two dope tracks on the pro, on the project. Then you sampled on, um, what's uh, the, Jagged yeah, Jagged Edge, you know? Yeah, so that's dope, you know what I'm saying? You can't get enough, you are a 90s R&B fan, you can't get enough of Jagged Edge, exactly. you know? Classic hit after hit after hit. So you say so. When's the next? When's the next show, man? When's the next show? Man, when's the next show? Uh, I know that I want to do a show back in Cincinnati, like before the year is out. Um, I definitely want to just kind of do like a not a private listener party per se, but I just want to give like a, like an intimate show to the to the to the fans. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? To the people who, who really been riding and really been supporting. So I kind of just want to do like a little low key. I mean, secret type show. And just give back, man. Just just do that. But uh, I don't know. I wanna I wanna keep on coming back down here. Definitely, man. I wanna keep on working the circuit down here, man. Cause I'm getting a lot of love. Yeah, yeah. getting a lot of love yeah. down here, man. So that's it. That's it. That's it, man. So tell so tell so tell our viewers, you know, something about John Scholar, like you know, like that. Not the average person won't know. Uh, something about John Scholar that the average person would not know. Uh. I do appreciate trap music. I love trap music. I really, really do. Like I'm R&B to the heart, but I love all types of music. And trap music is just something that I mean, it's it's a, it's a different element. And I appreciate it. I appreciate it for what it is. And especially like with this whole wave of like trap soul coming in, you know? Yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it's cool. Like it's cool, or whatever. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? So okay, you you mentioned trap soul. So obviously, you know, Brian, what's it, Bryson Tiller? Bryson Tiller, yeah, 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 yeah. Dope yeah. man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Dope, yeah. Know? But two different type of artists, you and him. Absolutely. Two different type of artists. Absolutely. And I and I've been listening to that album, you know. I've been wearing uh, it out. I didn't go for it. I've been wearing it out. You know what I'm saying? Track after track, all of them hit. Mm -hmm. Two different type of artists, you know. And, I, and you yeah. gotta love that. You gotta appreciate it. That's what I'm saying. You Absolutely. Know, it's one of those things where you just gotta appreciate because it's just it's pushing the genre forward. Mm -hmm. But you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You gotta have the balance. Mm -hmm. I feel you gotta have the balance because you know, it's people that like both, you know what I'm saying? But it's people that really like a diehard R and B soul to the yeah, heart. And some people, yeah. you know, like the upbeat, you know what I'm saying? The more yeah. soul rap and singing, yeah. melodic, you know, sound. So I mean mm -hmm. it's kinda like you just gotta keep that balance, you know what I'm saying? So I, my advice to you would just stay in your lane, man. That's stay it. in your lane. That's stay in your it. lane. Do what you do because obviously the people are gravitating to it. You know, That's you true. know what I'm saying? You know, That's so true. don't try to, you know, oh man, you know, it ain't hit just because, <laughs> you know, it ain't the trap soul or any right, you know right, melodic you know right. rap hip hop R and B oh, type right. feel, but do what you do, man, because there are there are people out there appreciate it. You know, Tyree said it best. You know, bring real R and B back. You know, mm -hmm. and you know, what I'm saying you gotta appreciate it because I mean the genre is you know somewhat dead because of the different tunes and stuff that they add and stuff like that, man. So 
Stay in your lane. But you man. know what? I feel like it's on its it's on its way back with yeah. You know I mean, with cats like Bryson Tiller, like Kalani, and okay, like yeah, all the, like all these you know these underground R and B artists. I feel like it's and like I said before, man, like it's it's gonna come down to a thing of what's making money and. Yeah. These artists, this R and B music, this this underground R and B music, I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna be marketable to like the to the suits and the the, the the big guys at the corporations at the labels and all that. And of course, like I mean, I don't want it to come back just because of the money. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't want that, but I I know that people are looking. You know what I mean? I know that people are watching. So, and it's gonna it's gonna come back, man. Like it's R and B is really gonna be a a genre in the forefront again. And I believe that, man. So I'm just waiting on it. Wait, just a matter of time. You know just what I mean? Just a matter of time, just man. Matter Shout out to my magazine. But yeah. look, check this out. So let me ask you this, though. A lot of independent artists, you know, like I see them, you know, I follow them on social media. I follow them on you know, different outlets and I run into them in public. They always, some of them always say they're not chasing the deal. Are you chasing the deal? Like, are you know, what's, what, what's your ultimate goal with the music? You know, what, my, what do you want to do? My ultimate goal with the music will probably be to, I mean, I would only do the deal if it makes sense, man. Because if 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 you sign a deal prematurely, you can end up being a slave to the label mm -hmm. and maybe get shelled and not even, you know, I mean, yeah. get out. Months, so years, yeah. yeah. And so especially right now with the independent route, man, the independent route is really is really where it's at because you get you get all the creative control, and yeah, you know I mean, depending on what distribution you go through, you can get a lot of your money back. And you can do your shows, do whatever you want to do, man. And so, honestly, I I want to be a writer. I want to be a writer for people. I want to be a writer for artists, and uh, and do my thing as well. But I don't know, man. Like, some, a part of me wants to be behind the scenes, but the way the way life keeps on pushing me, man. I'm just out here, <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, don't sell yourself short, bro. Man, don't sell yourself short, man. man. You know, and I I have conversations with people all the time. I'm like, yo, like if the music is what you want to do don't say sure i want to be behind the scenes i want to be a writer you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying because that's selling yourself short yeah it's kind of like taking it's the a easy, cop out it's a cop yeah, out it's, a yeah. cop out. it's taking the yeah. easy way out because you know like oh man i don't want this i don't want that but i mean in actuality man like you were blessed with talent you know what i'm saying and i got to shout that out that you write all your songs i do you write all your songs so i mean you're responsible for writing city lights and yeah <laughs> overrated and you know what i'm saying you know, he can't yeah. love you like i can yeah all those well you know but you covered it well though and it was and that's one thing i want to elaborate on too it was a different sound mm -hmm. than the actual version mm -hmm. you know so i thought that was kind of dope too mm -hmm. that you kind of took it and added your own spin and that pretty much shows your creative sense as far as the artist, you know, man, that just that's just a testament to my team, man. Yeah. Like the the production team, LVL. I mean, we we study, man. We really study the music, and we really want to give out the best quality music, man. Like we don't just want to just throw stuff out there just to just to just for it to be there. Yeah, you know definitely. what I mean. Like so, which is why I kind of like I took a second to put anything else out behind or after uh, 1990X because I want I do want 1990X to just marinate you know yeah, what I mean yeah, like, I yeah. want people to really grasp on how long it. has it been out since uh, in December it'll be December, a year, I mean, year. So I, put it, I put it out on my birthday last year December 23rd yeah you, so. yeah, you got yeah you gotta let that marinate because I mean it's still like when you on these waves and you're doing these performances and doing these shows we gotta realize like you aren't a mainstream artist so mm -hmm. pretty much everybody in Cincinnati, Ohio may mm -hmm. know about 19 and right. You know what I'm right. saying? But still a lot of people out here in Atlanta, you know, Florida, yeah. and, you know, and South Carolina, yeah. And, and yeah. different places that yeah. don't know it. So ride that wave, man. Ride that <laughs> wave as much as you can. You know, still do, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I tell artists, I still do your cover videos, man. Mm -hmm. and, you know, cover songs that you like, you know, and, you know, highlight your voice, you know what I'm saying, for the fans, you know, because, right. you know, as an R&B fan, that's what I want to see. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm just giving you a raise of what people want to see as a, as yeah. an independent artist and you're trying to build that fan base. Yeah. You're trying to create and bring the genre back or, you know, not really bring the genre, but you're trying to showcase what you can do as an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cover the videos, cover the songs, and those are what fans want. Those are what your true fans, those are what people will fans of the genre want to hear and want to see. I just still came push, across, yeah. And still push 1998s, man. Yeah, yeah, you right. I just uh, I just came across uh, a Hotline Bling cover. Okay. And this one guy, he was a uh, he was on the piano. It was cold, man. It was it was cold. So, you right, man. The the covers covers is definitely definitely where they at right definitely. now. So, but yeah, like I'm a uh, just let I'm you know, I'm letting letting it breathe. You know what yeah. I mean? Like letting it breathe, giving giving it some time, giving it some time for people to catch on. Definitely. So 
you know. You got time, man. You got time. I appreciate it. No problem, it. man. No problem. It. Well, look, I what I want you to do right now, man, I want you to tell our viewers where they can find your music, all your social media handles. Got you. Okay, so my website is johnskylermusic.com. And the way you spell Skyler is S-C-H-U-Y-L-E-R. It's complicated. I already know, but it's going to be worth it, man, in the end. But uh, my SoundCloud is soundcloud.com slash johnskyler, all one word. Instagram is john.skyler. Again, S-E-H-U-Y-L-E-R. My Twitter is John Schuyler, all one word. Uh, and uh, that's about it. That's about it. That's what's up, man. Well, look, I appreciate you stopping through, man, on your tour. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chopping up, man. Like I said, man, don't sell yourself short, man. I appreciate it. A year from now, man, you know, we want to look back on this interview and be like, yo, I mean, we interviewed him. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, he pushing the genre forward. Yeah, and MOT is, is making his making his wave too. Man, definitely, definitely. We're gonna yeah. continue doing it, man. It's your boy Sneaky Q, the homie Cincinnati, Ohio, Ohio over everybody, John Scholar. Until yes, next time, peace. peace.